Hello, Sycamore Junior High and Day 3 of Computer Science Education Week. Today is Wednesday, December 8th, and welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Arsh. And I'm Harper. Thank you for joining us today, and let's all unite and honor our America and stand placing our hand over our heart while we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. The countdown to our December Spirit Week that runs next week, starting December 13th, all the way through the last day before winter break on December 21st. Student Council will be sharing our special theme days very soon, but just between you and me, I know a little secret, and I'm going to be ready to wear my comfy plaid or flannel this Monday, on December, on December 13th. Remember, don't tell anyone. Remember, just you and me. Ooh, that's exciting. Next, we have Friday's survey results. Ask me if you were an early bird or an, a night owl. Here are the results. Looks like a night owl was the winner, but it was pretty close. The riddle from yesterday was how is seven different from the rest of the numbers between one and ten? And the answer is seven has two syllables. The riddle for today. One has ten letters and starts with gas. This answer will be given during tomorrow's announcements. Our fact of the day. Do you know that today is National Brownie Day? I love brownies. Same. My favorite are double chocolate. Ooh, those sound good. Now, on to the birthdays. Happy birthday to Cooper M, Aaron T, and Sienna R. We hope you have a fantastic day and an even better year. Next up, the brilliant and intelligent Mr. Harris with the activity announcements. Hey, good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily announcements. All right, intramural basketball, we've made this announcement before. Remember, if you're interested in playing intramural basketball, that will start up after the new year. That'll be Saturdays in the new gym from 12 to 2. Uh, it'll be January 8th, 15th, 22nd, and 29th, along with February 5th and the 12th. So look out for information in your email about intramural basketball. Don't forget about the Cinnovation Lab. They sent you those uh, that QR code for the application and the applications in the s'more. Uh, remember, those applications are due on January 14th, and if you have any more information, want more information about the Cinnovation Lab, visit us at Cinnovation Lab on Twitter. All right, now, guys, we're having a lot of home athletic events, and we love having you guys there to cheer our teams on, all right? But we've got to have a few expectations for those games, all right? So... If you're attending a game here at the junior high, remember those games start at 4.30. So you got to go home after school. School gets out a little after 3, you got to go home. You can't be around hanging around here till that game time starts, okay? You can come back here at 4.15 for those 4.30 games. The cost for a ticket is $3, $3, all right? Once you're in the gym at the game, you got to sit up in the bleachers. No clowning around in the hallways and all that other stuff. At the conclusion of the game, make sure your parents are here in the parking lot in order to pick you up and take you home. We do these to keep you guys safe and to make sure people are enjoying our games, people aren't running around and doing things like that. All right, so thank you for following these directions. Come out and root all of our aviator athletics here at home and go Aves. That's all for me today. You guys have a great day. Stay warm. We'll see you tomorrow. Now we have Lily with the Pet of the Week. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's Pet Picture of the Week. This week's pets are Ginny the Dog, submitted by Jackson M., Fufu Gadito, submitted by Mr. Hale, Neville, submitted by Violet V., Buster, submitted by Ty T., and Indy, submitted by Grace G. Also, my family's fostering a dog for two weeks, and if we like him, we keep him. His name is Monty, and he's a Labrador Collie mix. Right now, he's pretty small, but he'll get a lot bigger. He's really sweet and good with kids. He's athletic, but he's also really cuddly. Um, this actually helps me respond to my new sub-feature for Pet of the Week. As you may have seen, we sent out a form asking what you thought of the Pet of the Week. Many of you said you wanted something similar to a Riddle of the Week, except with animal breeds or other questions about a pet. So, starting next week, I'll choose one of the pet submissions to ask qu a question about. For example, if I chose to show a dog, I'd ask what breed you thought it was. Then you can answer via Google form, which will be on the Google Classroom. Then, on the next Pet of the Week, I'll reveal the answer and the stats. Thanks for all the submissions. Have a great day. Welcome back to today's lunch segment. I'm Anna, and again, I am joined by Regis. Today we have taco bar with burgers, chicken, tenders, and pizza. And if you are planning for tomorrow, there will be French toast, eggs, and turkey sausage. Have a great day.
Congratulations and check the SGH Communications Classroom for today's daily survey and the computer science activities as well. As always, check those emails. Time for the joke of the day. Today's joke is, did you hear about the claustrophobic astronaut? He just needed a little space. Go, Go Aves! Aves.